We were messaging each other last night because I was trying to do a background on the storylines that had happened in Hollyoaks. So I go, where do I even start? So first of all, I'll start with Anna. You're nominated for Best Actress. Congratulations for that. But I do have a slight bone to pick. So within the last week, as well as her daughter dying and coming back to life, she came back and killed you. Now, you went on Twitter and you wrote a very emotional message about how sad you were to leave and you got lots of lovely messages back, didn't you? And you were lying. <laughs> I was fibbing a lot. Yes, I was. I felt terrible afterwards. But at the time, it was quite fun. I thought, oh, this is good. <laughs> I sort of felt a bit like a spy. But you um, had some of your co-stars tweeting you really sad messages. Yeah, I have to say, I, I lied to friends and family and... That was the point. I think Jeremy Sheffield, who used to play my on-screen father, who I adore, had sent me a tweet saying, congratulations on finishing, da, 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 da. And I said, thanks. <laughs> and then the week later, I was like, I have to admit now that I've been lying. So Back I did feel bad. A funeral. Well, <laughs> how do you keep those storylines believable? Because when you get them, do you go, how on earth do I make this work? Do you know, it's funny you ask, because I never have thought that. I think because with Sienna, it has been that way since day one. I mean, she came in with the fake, with the fake pregnancy storyline. Yeah. <laughs> So, for me, that's just kind of Sienna's world, so I don't really mm. bat an eyelid, I just read and, and think and Anna, that's what And, Anna, it must just feel really great that your work and your body of work over the year is recognised and someone says, do you know what, she's not bad. Yeah, that's lovely. And I, I'm a firm believer that if you're going to be in a soap, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound, you, you might as well... you won Best Villain, didn't you? Yeah, a couple I did. Of years ago. It was lovely. That was four years ago, last time we won Best Soap as well. Nick, what did, what did you win? What Because you, you've been a winner before. I, uh, well, I won the, yeah, the Best Achievement Award. A lifetime achievement. Just for being there forever. Life. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. But yeah. you're nominated. Is it best scene? Yes, you're, you're part of Scott's suicide. This thing I love about Hollywood, it's amongst the bonkers stuff. You do the serious stuff so well as a soap. Mm. So you're involved in the Scott's suicide storyline as well. I mean, how important is it for Hollyoaks to tell these these sort of stories? No, it's very important because anything like controversial or near the mark, mm. which we quite often do, you know, it sort of raises awareness and gets people talking. And, and Russ, who is fantastic in that, by the way, and please vote for him, <laughs> um, uh, he'll tell you, we, we, you know, we meet with sufferers of depression and, 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 and people like we, with the self-harming episode. And they'll tell you the minute you do start talking to people is when you start mm. getting better, you know what I mean? And, so and male suicide bit, is a, is a yeah, huge yeah, subject, yeah, exactly. isn't it? It's very so, much you know, in the news. And yeah. So it's, it's important. It you... is important to raise awareness yeah. and hopefully we're doing our little bit. Well, that was Ross Adams, of course, he's up for best scene and he best storyline. Yeah. So he's brilliant. Lot, lot, so, and what about Tony? I mean, we saw last night on screen, we know his daughter, Dee Dee, is ill. I mean, what's yeah, happening Tony's there? Tony's in the water as well. His daughter's suffering from encephalitis. So, of course, uh, the, the character Stephanie Davis, we've heard she yes. is returning to the soap with Sinead. Now, Sinead and Tony had a little bit of a They blame. did. Um, hopefully they won't do that again, because <laughs> him and Diane, who's obviously uh, her mother, <laughs> they're, they're in a good place again. So, he was but on you the never, you never can tell, you never can tell She's um, coming back. She's a wild back yet? She doesn't start till August, I believe. So, uh, yeah. So. How, how many years have you been definitely. on Hollyoaks, Tony? 22 now, yeah. 22, 22, 22 yeah. Amazing. Started in 1995. Yeah, it's it's flown by, though. I mean, it really I doesn't bet. feel that long. Well, Chelsea, they're saying uh, this summer is the summer of the McQueens. Yes. <laughs> yes. And I can't wait. I think there's a lot of fun coming up. Um, we fly out to Mallorca in June for, like, Big McQueen scenes, so that's really exciting. It's also Jen Metcalf's first scenes back after maternity, so, yeah. Well, you, of course, have just returned from maternity as well. Yes. You've, you've got a, a Hollyoaks nursery now for all these yeah, babies yeah. coming. Yeah, so it's perfect. <laughs> She's always near me, so we always... Oh, there's your little girl. Take yeah, care. there she is. <laughs> um, so how are you finding the whole motherhood juggling work? Oh, wow. Yeah. Where do I start? I mean, it's hard work, but it's completely worth it. Um, my life has just changed for the better. And how, um, what an achievement going out and working every day for her yeah. future. So, yeah, it's amazing. Yes, there's different reasons you're working then, isn't yeah. it? The family, <laughs> yeah. The yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, and do you look forward to the Soap Awards? Do you like, you know, getting the frock and the whole um, night? Oh, 100%. I'm always game for a good night out. But <laughs> <laughs> last year was actually my first, first Soap Awards, but I was eight <laughs> months pregnant, so... <laughs> This year, I can enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you just told Chelsea it's live, though. You're like, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, of course, yeah. your on-screen sons, which I would be complaining about this, both of the boys are about 17 years yeah. old, but they're both nominated as well, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they're amazing. Um, but, but let me just 
say they do look older than me. <laughs> but, um, no, they're such good boys and they've brought so much to the show and how they work together. They're just fantastic and really rooting for them. They deserve it. Best partnership they're up to for Prince and Hunter. So, um, guys, you've not won since 2014. Mm -hmm. Come on, it's got to be time, hasn't it? Yes, Hopefully. we really think <laughs> yeah. we hope so. <laughs>